Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Landstalker, The Treasures of King Knoll, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. You know, I decided to go back to the village of Gumi, and other than noticing that chicken is probably on meth at this point, I mean, look how fast it moves. I forgot to look over every single house. So I went to the mayor's and I found one thing that did not make sense compared to all the others. This is the only thing you see here that stands out compared to everyone else. So this idol stone might be required in order to get through the swamp shrine. So with this, I should be able to get across. Alright, so he doesn't really give me much new information. I think it's time for us to head back to the shrine. Well, let me take out these orcs over here. I could use the extra money. Remember, I would like to buy that uh, livestock. However, I need over 200 coins for it. Who knows, I might reach that by the time I finish the shrine. If there was a lot of enemies there, and I would be remiss if there were any. Alright, so let's go. Again, I still like to kill enemies along the way, because money is pretty scarce. Enemies aren't, but the amount of money they drop is not very high. If only they could have, like, a rare drops where it's 20 gold instead of, like, 2. That would make things all the more interesting. I mean, yes, they can drop healing items, too, but still. I can manage just fine. Hmm, that's maybe what my finder sells our first weapon upgrade, if there are any in this game. I find it weird that the enemies are not affected by the swamp, yet I am. Ow! I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate you being in a spot I can't pick up that money without taking damage. Alright, I think I gotta... No, why don't I exit the menu? I think I better use this. Aha! That was just what I needed to get through. Oh, I thought those were enemies. Hmm. This looks kind of dangerous. Yeah, That was close. I was gonna get hit by that marble. Yeah, I know, it's supposed to be a boulder, but it looks like a marble. Hmm. I think you have to kill these enemies in order to advance. It's always the little things. Hmm, you think that would have been like a message. I see a chest over there. But I can't reach it. I'll have to come back to that later. There, as long as I dodge those orcs, I can't take damage. Ugh. Now, which way do I want to go? I think I ended up back where I started, now I'm on this side. Can't go that way? Well, I went that direction for nothing, then. Ah, another Eek Geek. Wait, this is the room that I came in the first time when I went to that cave entrance. Okay, that all looks familiar to me. All right, let me hang around this side. I don't think I've gone this way. Ah, sneak attack. Wait, did I pick that money up or did the enemy? Hmm. For some reason, it looks like I got more money. The enemies pick up the money and then I kill them. I get that money plus the enemy I, or the money I normally would have gotten. That's an interesting mechanic. If that's true. Uh, how do I get through this then? Oh, there we go. It's just a big enough leap. Another e geek. Ugh, I need a key to get through here. I have a feeling I'm going to get confused in this place, so it's a good thing that I am finding dead ends. Let me go back this way. I can jump over these marbles, which is nice. Hmm, he 
these enemies are permanently dead. I guess that I needed them to solve that puzzle. Okay, I went to the southeast first, knowing that it would have just looped me. So let's try it this way. Oh, more orcs! Ow! That was dumb of me. Bubbles are here as well. Okay, try my best not to get lost here. Bit of a tall order, but I think we can get the job done. Yeah. I have a feeling if I touch these, I'm gonna get hurt. So I can walk around them. Uh, do I really want to explore the second floor yet? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna go back. I just feel that it's so weird. That sometimes I'm able to kill these guys in one hit. Ah! I better use an Iki right away. I got six of them, so I should be happy. Ah, damn it, that orc got me. Let me check the northeast room then. Might just be another locked door, who knows. It might be where we find the first key. Ah, I hate when they just walk around you on purpose. Ah, an Iki. Make up for the one I used. What the? Two different kinds of bubbles, and they just fell from the ceiling. I still find that shriek very annoying. Okay, so far so good. Again, I'd rather save the second floor for later. But because this is blind, I have no idea if I'm going where I'm supposed to go, or if I'm going somewhere that leads to a key or an upgrade. If there is an upgrade. Remember, I like to go to the last area. Well, obviously last. I don't want to be skipping places. Hmm. Okay, these aren't enemies at all. These guys are, however! For some reason, I kept facing the wrong way, even though I was holding in the direction I wanted to. Ugh. Yep, not taking any chances. Because if they hit me one more time, I'm done. Okay, ten is the maximum they give you. Oh, there's a key. Good. Alright. So that's our first key that we found in this dungeon. Damn it. Again, just running into you does two, and I think the spores do three. Worst case scenario, I gotta go back to the village just to buy some more of these healing herbs. Oh, I should have enough for that livestock, too. Now, let's think about that for a moment so I find myself in any kind of trouble. And hopefully I don't anytime soon. Wish I had, like, some kind of range attack or something. Like, even if it's limited, just give me something that'll give me a bit of a boost. I think I should actually check out that second floor before I use that key. Let's see where it takes me. A lot easier to just go around all these. I don't want to be making any snaking pads. Wait a minute, is it going to be like some kind of 3D maze? Oh, I did all that for another key. Doesn't really... Wait a minute. What if I jumped off from here? It's probably not going to work, but let me give that one more try. Yeah, I, I think I gotta go through the other way. Fair enough. I only did that for a key. But now I got two. So, let's go back to that locked door. Oops, I aggroed all the orcs. 
I need to consider just like moving away from them and just get myself straight away first. Ah. Wait, do the clubbing blows do three damage? Because I was at ten and now I'm at seven. I think that's it. Wait, is this the way I gotta go to that first locked door? No, it's not it. I think it's here. Yeah, yep, yep, that's it. She almost snuck up on me again. Uh oh, better heal. Yeah, I think you have to kill these enemies in order to create that little platform. I'm just noticing that. Because it wasn't there before until I killed that last mushroom freak. Okay, let's use this key. Oh no, I'm not getting flanked by you, Orcs. Don't even think about it. Okay, so far so good. I've only had to use a couple of healing herbs, but we'll be alright. It's always a good idea to just hack at the mushrooms, just in case one of them is going to attack you. I think they're all evil. Yup, they are. Good. That just means more money for me. Oh! Sh shit. That was dumb of me. Took some really dumb damage there. Oh, I had a feeling you were evil. I still got hit by the spores. Go that way? Huh. Okay. Then I guess I'm gonna have to use my other key. Yeah, fair enough. Oh! Oh my god, I just took like two hits rather quickly. What the hell? I hit you, and you still did damage to me. Spore's got quite a lot of range. Hmm. I think it has something to do with that platform I couldn't get up. Let's see. Yup! Now I can get through. Ugh, more battling. You guys just don't let up. Oh, I see a chest. Good, it was another geek. I think I feel so silly when it's actually something else that I'm supposed to pronounce it as. Like Eka Eka. Wait a minute. There's four switches here. Uh, if I do this, it's gonna raise that platform. So why don't I weigh it down? Press that. Can do this. Hmm. So the other buttons were fake. Okay. I guess you could do this if you really wanted to. But it doesn't look like it's necessary. Either way, you can get through if only one of them's up. Oh, this part looks dangerous. To the pattern. There we go. Oh! No, don't go in that way. You're gonna land on the spikes. Again! Oh, they're only there temporarily! Huh. <sighs> thing that I find weird about this game, you gotta switch diagonals. And that's not very good for my little pea brain to handle. You gotta parse that crap on the fly. I have a feeling this platform is gonna crumble as soon as I get off of it. Yep, I thought so. You can just tell by the cracks. 
Hey, don't you go back into the earth, you scum. As a telemarketer, I don't have to answer it. Yay! So I don't want you interrupting my mojo, phone. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. I am not ending like this. I thought that I was going to do pretty awesome, like I'll be using my healing potions, or, well, healing herbs very scarcely. But I've had some times where I've really had to use them. Because you had to be so close to the enemies. It just makes things so frustrating when you got to deal with enemies that have a little bit of range on you. There's a switch here. Okay. I have to time myself carefully. Yes, made it. Um, okay. What am I supposed to do here? I think there might be a way to push that down. Maybe I gotta use these as some kind of stepping stone. anywhere, is it? So I can't get up here. Wait. What if I did this? Yes, that works. Huh. Wait. What if I did this? Let me take another block. Probably put it here? That's not gonna work. How do I get there then? Oh, I see a switch. Ah, I see what I need to do. Uh, gotta find a way to weigh them down permanently. So I guess that's what I need these blocks for. Okay, so once I weigh down that other switch, I should be able to advance. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this game a lot. You just figure these things out. Uh, is this the way I wanted to do things? I believe so. Yep, it is. No, no, I gotta go around this way, of course. Wait, this is quite a journey. Oh, I almost walked with the spikes again. on that platform. Let's try it. Yes, I can. So remember, there's a locked door here. Oh, I was able to make that without landing on spikes again. Thank God they're not instant death or do a ton of damage to you. So let's use this key. Um, oh, okay. That boulder does a lot of damage. And it just sent me back here. Well, ain't that a bitch. That means I gotta go around the long way. Oi. Yeah, I think I gotta be fast in that room. Alright, I guess I'll try that room again in the next episode, okay? See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.